University of Montana Western is riding high in the saddle with the new addition to its Horsemanship Center. KXLF's John Amy attended an open house of the new facility that will enhance this unique program at the Dillon University. Yeah, you may have horse sense, but the University of Montana Western can teach you much more. You might think you know a thing or two, and then you show up here and you're like, wow, I don't really know much. So <laughs> you got a lot, you're going to learn a lot. On Thursday, Western held an open house at its Montana Center for Horsemanship to celebrate the near completion of its indoor arena, which will allow students a covered area to work with their horses, plus more. And it's awesome, and we're, we're into phase one on it, and it's going to do nothing but get, uh, we're going to put classrooms, and we're hoping to have an area where you could have a conference, a concession area. Lieutenant Governor Mike Cooney congratulated Western on its new addition, and he spoke about his family's deep connection with the university. When my great-grandfather, Philip Poindexter, decided to make an investment and to donate the original 10 acres for the college to be built here in Dillon. He obviously had a vision. He would be very, very proud of where Western is today and where this program is today. This one and a half million dollar facility is just the latest addition to a program that's not only unique in Montana, but unique in the rest of the country. This has been a signature program for Montana Western for a very long time and this will really uh, add not only visibility but practicality to their program. Funding for the project was a public-private venture between the university and local rancher William Kriegel, a French citizen who's been ranching in Montana for decades. Education is my business in France, education is my business in Montana and I'm very involved in, in education. University officials are confident about the future of the school's equine studies program. Five years ago out here, there wasn't anything but a field. So we've come a long way. And there's still more to go. In Dillon, John Amy, MTN News.